Hi, in this slide I want to contrast uh, my hexagon with its six sides that creates kind of a, an expanded boundary space for employees to allow them to have more um, latitude and freedom uh, and self-organizing initiative both by themselves and in teams, by department and teams across departments for processes. Um, a variation on this concept, uh, arguably, would be called the balance scorecard. And if you go and Google image that or just Google it, you can read all kinds of stuff about the balance scorecard. It's a, it's a mini industry, but it's mostly geared towards uh, you know, generating $3 million initiation consulting fees for global 2,000 corporations you know, from the big consulting firms. But the idea there is that, again, we don't want to just measure the financial numbers because they're at best lagging indicators of what actually creates value for customers and, 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 and gives us best value at lowest cost. Um, we want to focus on customer. And if we can, you know, that's our whole nichonomics and the service value equation that goes for it, then that would turn around and reshape and help us rethink uh, our internal service processes. And more importantly, the people in those processes to make sure they're cross-trained so they can hop on surges and ride through the process if need be. But for our employees to do that, they all have to learn and earn, certify, um, and we have to, because we've never uh, closed these service value metric gaps before, we don't know exactly how. So we have to sort of come up with theories and fail forward and try a lot of things that start to goose our, our numbers ever better as far as the processes, improves our value added, which keeps customers satisfied so they stay with us, they buy more from us and so forth. So we went on customer retention economics up here. Um, so that's that's just a variation, um, you know. It it uh, in case some people have started down that path, I'm not saying it's a better or worse. It just it's an alternative thing. But using the balanced scorecard, I now want to move on to another slide, which gets far more comprehensive about all that goes into a high performance uh, organization. So let's move on to the next slide. Thank you.